Hello, I'm Dr. Cynthia Shortell, and this is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing about varicose veins in pregnancy. Varicose veins are one of the most common health conditions afflicting women, and pregnancy is one of the most common causes of varicose veins in women. When varicose veins develop during pregnancy, there are several factors that may contribute to this. Early on in pregnancy, even before the uterus is large enough to cause direct compression of the veins which drain blood from the legs, varicose veins can develop as a result of the changing hormones associated with pregnancy. These hormones affect blood vessel walls, weakening them and making them more susceptible to dilate under pressure. Later in pregnancy, varicose veins develop as a result of both hormonal influences and direct compression of the veins draining the legs by the gravid uterus. As the baby and the uterus grow, they may compress the larger iliac veins in the pelvis, which drain blood from the legs back toward the heart. This effect is more pronounced the more time the mother must spend standing. The earlier in pregnancy that a woman develops varicose veins, the worse they are eventually likely to become as the pregnancy progresses. For this reason, women who develop varicose veins during pregnancy should see their obstetrician immediately and seek treatment from a vascular specialist. Usually this treatment is surgical compression stockings designed especially for pregnancy. It is very rare for patients to undergo surgical procedures for veins during pregnancy. In the most severe cases, the doctor may recommend bed rest or restriction of activities and work until after delivery. While varicose veins do not increase the risk of deep vein thrombosis during pregnancy, they do increase the risk of superficial phlebitis, a less serious condition, around the time of delivery. After the baby is born, varicose veins usually improve for up to three months postpartum, but they rarely resolve entirely. Since varicose veins usually worsen with each pregnancy, women who have had varicose veins during a prior pregnancy should see their vascular specialist immediately upon becoming pregnant again. There is some controversy over whether women with severe symptoms related to their varicose veins should have them treated before becoming pregnant again or whether they should wait for definitive therapy until after they have completed childbearing. If treatment is done before childbearing is completed, then new varicosities that develop with subsequent pregnancies may require additional treatment. However, the patient will have symptom relief in the meantime. This briefing is made possible by a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about vascular health, visit vascularweb.org.